and today we're gonna learn how to create this scene that you can see right here uh, I created this a while back and I thought you know what let's let's do a tutorial on it so I'll show you how to do the lighting the materials the modeling setup for everything um, so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right, so in Blender, we've got our default scene, and we can go ahead and use the default cube because the ocean modifier, which we're going to be using, um, automatically overtakes or changes whatever object you have uh, in the thing. So you can see it literally just turns into an ocean. Whatever object you have, the ocean modifier trumps that, you know. Um, so some of the settings that we're going to use here so we're gonna go with a pretty high resolution we're gonna go to 28 now your computer might start lagging here a little bit because this is already over half a million vertices in the scene um, so very high resolution scene uh, we're gonna go with a choppiness of a 1.09 all right just a little bit choppier and we're gonna go with a scale. Now the scale is where this starts to look very abstract and where you can really start getting some of those cool shots uh, to come in here. So this this looks pretty cool, right? Um, it's not really anything that I don't think anyone realized that you could do. I mean, you could always really mess with the scale of oceans, but to get that like tsunami type feel, this this looks pretty cool. All right, so just checking here to make sure I have all the settings the same here. Um, I do want to generate some foam. So we'll go with a 4.5. And I think that that's pretty much it. Um, and you can change the look of how you want each one to look like. Uh, you could go through the seed here and get any type of effect that you want um, this one looks pretty cool all four corners are like that's pretty cool okay so for lighting let's go ahead and hit uh, lighting real quick so we're just going to simply I'll take the default lamp here and I'll convert that to an area lamp and then that area lamp we're going to have a size of 38 by 31 like I said, I've, I've got another screen here just making sure I get all of the settings correct because I want you to be able to recreate this uh, verbatim. Okay, so now we're going to go with a really high power here, like super high, like over a million. <laughs> so uh, 127, 5633 is how much that's gonna do so that's a million watts and we're gonna make that a little blue all right and then that's gonna be on the right side we can go ahead and duplicate that and bring it over I'm gonna put that back at white all right so kind of just contrast lighting uh, for each one all right okay, and then the setting for this one is going to be uh, 265 757 so 265,757 watts and that's pretty much it for the lighting setup um, we'll kind of off-center them here a little bit this one a little more back lighting this one a little more front side lighting all right Let's go ahead and set up our camera here. So control alt numpad zero. Um, I have a cinema resolution. I'll just keep it at uh, 16 by nine for the tutorial. I like working in cinema grade uh, aspect ratios, I should say. Okay, so kind of just frame everything up. You can get a different type of shot if you want but I just want to show you the basics of how to create a scene like this. Okay. Okay, so I want to walk you through the ocean water shader. This is a custom material that I made. It's not very fancy. It's probably not even very accurate, 
but I found that it gives pretty good results for uh, water. So if you want to pause the video and recreate this shader setup, I'll let you do that right now. Okay, so now I'll walk you through everything. So this is basically the bulk of it right here, obviously a glass shader. That's what we do most of the time for water in Blender. Now we'll mix that with some translucency, so uh, light comes through. And then we also do some volume absorption and scattering. And um, I don't really know the technical aspects of that. I just know it helps um, obviously absorb the light and how it refracts and bends with um, the world around it. And then subsurface scattering also enables light and stuff to come in and out of the shader. As well as down here, I created a custom group for bump. So if you want tiny little bump details uh, in the shader, you can connect this. So I'll let you screenshot that again. This is just a little group that's been made. All right. So yeah, that's just a custom water ocean shader that I've used for a while. If you look at past renders of mine, this is the shader that's always in water or ocean. And uh, yeah, we come up with a result like this, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's starting to look pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of any environment lighting. So we'll make that completely black there. I'll turn off the grid here so we can really start to see. And this is where you can get some cool, interesting shots. Um, definitely play around with the limits for the depth of field. Uh, so if we take a look here, our camera is pretty small. It, the ocean modifier gets very big, so you're going to have a huge distance to go. Unless you scale everything back down, you'll have a huge distance to go on uh, your depth of field there. But it can start to look pretty cool. You could go with some uh, pretty shallow depth of field and get some cool shots. You probably have to manually put it in. Oh, that's a little too many zeros on that one. But yeah, you can get some cool shots. You can play around with it. But yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and show you how to create a custom abstract water scene with a custom water shader hopefully you can use that water shader uh, in other stuff hopefully it helps you um, so yeah that's pretty much the end of the tutorial thanks for watching everyone don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one